Hi, in this video we're going to talk about how you can exploit your sudo privileges if you have access to different kind of binary files. So we're logged in right now as a user called user8. We can go ahead and type who am I or id in the command line <clears throat> and we can see that we are user8 with the same kind of group. In this particular case, nothing special. What we're going to do now is go ahead and type sudo tag l to see our sudo privileges. And in this particular case, we have access to the binary file called vi. Now, vi is a text editor. And how on earth should you have anything to do with that to get a better shell? Now, what you can see here is that you have access to it as root with no password. So what we're going to do is going to go ahead to a website here called gtfo bins. Go to the <clears throat> first part of it and type in vi in a search editor. You're going to see there's something called VI here. It talks about that it knows something about the pseudo privileges for the VI editor. Let's go ahead and click it. As you can see now down here below, it shows that you can go ahead and type this down command right here. Basically, you do sudo VI. Sudo basically means that you're giving the access rights as the user you were presented with before as root to the VI. In this particular case, a tag C is executing a directly bash command. Okay, so the tag um, C bash command, colon, bin, sh, is going to execute a new shell and divert all errors to div null. If we execute this command right here in the shell, just like this, you will see that you now have a beautiful new web shell with root privileges. Now, there's one other way you can do this. Gonna exit. So clear screen, sudo tag L. We see the same privileges one more time. Root can with no password execute the VI. Alright, so we type sudo in front, VI. We're going to VI and you can go ahead and type shift colon exclamation mark X SH and just press enter. We'll do exactly the same. We're gonna get out ID who am I? you are now root. This is of course whenever you see that you can execute a certain binary file with no password as the user root or any other higher privileged user or just another user you can jump either horizontal or vertical to that particular user. That's how it's working. Really hope you like this video. See you again online. Bye.